Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Season 4. After about a two-hour drive this morning from kind of north of Bend, Oregon, we've made it out here to Mount Hood Meadows, which was a rather uneventful but quickly eventful sort of drive as soon as i got up whatever that final road was kind of driving through the storm and then ultimately revealing mount hood i got here probably just before 8 a.m and the main parking lot's already full so they put me in the sunrise lot but i guess being probably the, the only in the closest resort to portland it would make sense so we're here some scrambies hash browns, uncured turkey bacon. Get the day started as I'm waiting for episode 15 from Bachelor to premiere with you guys. So slower morning because I had to get this up, but uh, be worth it. Breakfast, premiere, all good. I got some new, uh, some new outerwear from Montech. They did send me a few new suits. Um, but when I get new gear, I do like to use it at least once before I even like mention it just to get a feel for it and just not feel, whoa, not feel like I have pressure to review it or like it or dislike it, whatever. I think the biggest difference between my suits, I actually have another one right back there, but it's a little bit more white based. So on white out days like this, I don't think it's the best to, to wear it. But uh, probably the biggest difference is that I am in shells where before I was using insulated gear and I gotta be honest, I like it. It's a lot lighter feeling, so I feel like I have a little bit more mobility. However, I just wasn't, you know, I'm new to the shell thing, so kind of not sure about like layering and stuff like that. And then just have different sort of designs. I believe this is the arch. So the bib's a little bit different. It actually has like a zipper to, to help you go to the bathroom, um, which, is, which is a welcomed addition. And the jacket is actually like a normal zip rather than some of their side zips um, which again just different it's uh not necessarily better or worse but just a little bit different it is a little bit easier to use sometimes a little bit excessive to have literally four pairs of skis in here four ski suits but just i wasn't really sure so i just brought everything wasn't sure how i was gonna like these I feel like on a day like this with some of the terrain here, I could either go with the 116 JJ or I could uh, go with the 106, but I want to get a little bit more time on the 106 now that I feel like I got them right. So I think I'm gonna, gonna use the 106 today still. I believe the only way to get to the mountain from this parking lot is to walk right now. I don't know if they're running buses at this point in the day, but the other thing I need to do is use my Indy Pass to grab a date. I, uh, I have the Indy Plus Pass. Who's that back? Alright, you good to go? Thank you, appreciate it. Up. You too. My ticket was as easy as just showing my ID and I got a day ticket. So I think between here and Pau Mau, I might already have my money's worth of the Indy Pass, but I don't know exactly how much a day ticket is here. Honestly, like, you might have a clue of where you're going. I have literally no idea. Whoa. Woo! This is kind of cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, what? <laughs> that is a sheet of ice. Or wait, no, that's, that's still packed powder. I'm sorry, that's not ice, that's... It only happens to look like a glacier, but we'll just call it packed powder over there. The East Coasters are gonna be like, yo, that's not ice, dude. I would rip that.
I guess we're gonna give this a go. I don't know what this is. This is some trees. Okay, this is interesting. Oh. This is nice. That was fun. How can Endor? Just like wherever we want to go. Let's dig it. Nice. Oh, this is fun. Look at these trees. That's so sick. Oh my god. What fun is this? Ho -ho. I don't know where I'm going at all. Look at these trees! Oh my god! Yo, that is so crazy! I thought this stuff only happened in the summer. This looks steep as hell. I don't, okay, that's not even skiable, that's why. Oh, well, I don't wanna say it's not skiable, but it looks like over there is the move. Yo, that is, bro, if you're too busy looking at the trees. Yo, look at how crazy this is. Dude, I feel like I'm like in some like getaway movie. I'm like completely where I shouldn't be. As soon as you stop seeing tracks, you know you're kind of in the wrong area. Here we go. Some tracks. Okay, this looks skiable. No cruise. Dude, some gnarly stuff. I think I'm still where I'm supposed to be. I'm on this place called God's Wall, which is intimidating enough. I don't recommend doing this stuff by yourself. I didn't realize kind of how 
isolated this area was and not recommending people do stuff like this solo. The problem with places like this is it's just so blind. It's just, it could look good here, but you know, you just don't know what's on the other end of a cornice or always being extra safe, especially being solo. Never been to these zones before, but uh, it is, I mean, just really, really rad area. These trees are so cool. Like there's no tracks there, which just makes me feel like that isn't the move. Well, this is actually nice. But again, like always looking for tracks see one here it looks like. Let's take it easy here. Now we get into There we go. And obviously tree wells are a huge a lot bigger danger out here in the Pacific Northwest. So I'm trying to stay out of the trees a bit more, especially trees like this. You can see the tree well. Found a track here. I think we're good. I see people over there. Okay. We're good. Standing back on top of God's wall where I kind of was just saying I shouldn't be doing this alone. When I was skiing around I saw what looked like a really inviting chute and so I couldn't help but come back up here. I had to kind of traverse around this mountain but I think this is important to show kind of not going, not doing it because it's getting you know late in the afternoon. The visibility has quickly gone away and now it's snowing. I almost feel like the low vis in the snow is like a sign telling me not to do it. So I am going to turn back and dump over the ridge this way I think um, because I just don't think it is smart to do right now in case something were to happen. Um, always being cognizant of like patrol and rescue right like it's late in the day and uh, the last thing you want to do is have something happen and you get stuck out here all night and you probably die. So I am going to back out of this one even though I think it's right here and it looks pretty nice but it's starting to snow pretty heavy now so kind of a bummer but you know we're always playing the long game here. very very impressed with the terrain here at Mount Hood Meadows like it kind of seems like you can ski just about anywhere you want around here um, which is really cool like I think on proper pow days like 
some of the stuff is, is pretty pretty crazy. I think I did a, a vert check and I was kind of surprised at how little vert I have with how much it feels like I've been skiing and hiking up and kind of traversing around. So, but it just means, you know, to get to the, some of the fun stuff takes a little bit of work, but really, really fun. And now it's like, woo, it's coming down. And I feel like this is the sort of stuff that I see from, from Mount Hood, just fat flakes, nukage. So keep it ripping, having fun, being extra, extra safe because some of this terrain, there's just not a lot of room for air. So beautiful, stoke is high. private residence area and I'm sure even the other canyons that just were very low visibility I didn't ski too much from but like Heather Canyon and whatever the other area is um, just really fun terrain cool mountain cool vibe cool area um, but you know another day of really not being able to see much anything um, and skiing rather gingerly with the conditions and everything like that but I think um, be a sweet place to kind of have so close to a city like Portland um, and be a place to frequent quite often. It has been dumping snow, and so I think I gotta focus on getting Luna out of here safely before it gets too dark. I'd love to sort of get down the mountain a little bit here, but should be all right. Kind of waited, let some cars go, and then we'll, uh, we'll work our way down. <laughs> it makes sense but now it is just like pouring rain down here in hood river oregon it is just wet the plan is to try to get off the roads here tonight just topping off on fuel which i'm always very uh proactive about i'll try to fill up around like every half tank or so but um yeah super wet that's all i can say very very wet not even that cold but Fifty-two bucks. Not bad. Four eighty a gallon. I never thought I'd be saying not bad, but it's worse in Utah. Pretty chill night in the van. Made some uh, grass-fed beef with some rice, and then a little bit of asparagus wrapped in bacon. Um, and then just dumping footage, editing from today. Pretty standard 
evening affairs here. As always, I appreciate you guys taking the time to be here to watch the videos. But thank you guys for watching this video. In the next episode, Oregon was sick. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.